Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Thursday evening episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me your most gracious host Ted. It is just about to go quarter past seven on the 11th of July 2024. I hope for my US viewers at home I hope you had a fantastic 4th of July a week ago and for all my British viewers well at least the English ones I hope you were happy with last night's football result although I do think we've been playing rather terribly. But still, you know, I'll take a 90th minute winner against a much better Dutch team, but what can you say? Anyway, we are going to review a beer that I've been putting off reviewing for a while, mainly just by forgetting about it, or by just reviewing other beers. So I thought now was about as good a time as any to review it, and I've been putting it off for a long time, and I don't really know why, because it's from a brewery I trust, it's got a nice looking bottle, and this particular brewery has made good stuff before. So. I'm going to review Echo Black by our buddies at Echo Brewery and they're a African family run brewery in the United Kingdom in London in fact and they I think they specialize in vegan beers or at least the Echo Gold and the Echo Black beers are vegan I think but this Echo Black unlike the Echo Gold which was obviously a lager this is a smoked porter so it's definitely got quite an intense profile to it based off of that alone. It's also a little bit stronger than the Echo Gold, which I've got a bottle of it here. The Echo Gold is a 4.9 percenter and the Echo Black is a 5.0 percenter. So a little bit stronger, but not obviously by much. And it said on their website as well that it is actually their very first brew ever that they did. And it also says that the porter offers a smoky malt flavour with a blend of chocolate and caramel to add to the smoothness. And it is, like I said, 5%, 330 milliliter bottle. It does have barley notes in it, so do be careful of that if you're allergic to those. However, it is vegan friendly. So that is definitely something to keep in mind if you're a vegan person who's out on the lookout for a nice porter. Maybe give this one a look. You'll be supporting a very nice little independent brewery from my hometown so yeah no definitely give this a look in if you're interested i will say actually to be honest with you i think this has one of the nicest looking labels and bottle combinations on a porter that i've seen in a while it's simple but the mixture of colors of just black and white really striking sorry it's really striking yeah it looks really really handsome honestly they're just giving the impression of a smoky straight to the point kind of porter and this ball just gives a good impression of that. And the art design of the continent of Africa on there, lit up by those little dots, is really pretty, actually. It's really, really nice, actually, with the white dots and the white writing against the black background. So, yeah, honestly, I'll give the design of the bottle and the label on this a 10 out of 10. This looks really handsome, simple, to the point, but nice, understated almost. But yeah, I really like this. Anyway, let's open it up and see what our first impressions of the nose are like. I believe that one of my family members got me this for a Christmas present. So to all of my family members who got me beers and other nice gifts over Christmas and my birthday, thank you very much. But let's give it a quick snifter to see what our first impressions are like. Not a massive flavour profile of the nose in the bottle. There's a bit of a chocolatey bitterness there, so I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's good, it's just there's... Obviously, there's not much room for it to breathe because with these kind of bottles, the you know top is a bit narrow, so there's not much room for it to get out and aerate around your nostrils. And yeah, it's it's nice nose though. So six out of ten, I think. But let's have a sniff of it in the glass, and we're using the Harvey's Best glass today. Let's see what the colour is like. Uh, yep. I was expecting it to be a tiny bit darker, but it's got a good hue to it. So wee tiny smithens of a head there not much but yeah no it's a handsome looking drink so anyway quick snifter in the glass mm, malty after the smell backed up by a very cocoa chocolatey through line yeah and there is a little bit of caramel there as well that's a really really nice nose very balanced actually none of the flavors over contrast against each other at all it's really really well balanced that's the main thing about it yeah, a bit understated, but the flavours that are there that work really nicely together in other drinks are really well balanced and they don't overstate their welcomes in the nose. Yeah, it, honestly, it's a really well balanced nose. It's just a little extra X factor that's missing, but generally 9 out of 10. This is a really, really good nose, honestly. So anyway, let's get the glass in view. Anyway, let's 
Let's get the bottle in view and for the most important part of the video, or second most important, quick palate cleanser of water. And then onto the most important part of the video. To see what this sucker tastes like. So, to everyone at home, bottoms up, and I hope you have a great weekend ahead. And regarding the final on Sunday, may the best team win. Cheers. Mmm. God, that is smooth. Wow. That is really, really smooth for a porter. Smokes porter as well. Mmm. Mmm. I don't get so much of a sense of smokiness. There is like a little touch of it in the aftertaste, um, which is complemented really nicely by a slightly wet texture. Um, then. There's. There's a tiny little sort of bit of fizz, but it's like very minute and it doesn't get in the way of any of the other textures. In fact, actually, weirdly enough, there's this almost like creaminess to the texture in a sense. And I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the understated fizz kind of almost elevates it a bit. It's really strange, fizz and creaminess like aren't the two kind of things I think would go together but in terms of textures but I don't know it somehow works here it's really really nice the texture's great and then the flavour you've got this kind of almost like burnt caramel initial profile to the flavour that kind of sort of sets the tone and then you've got this sort of very mellow kind of almost burnt cocoa dark chocolate kind of flavour. It's kind of undercut by that malty aspect of the flavour which is there but it's very very minute. I think mm. actually no the malt is fine at the levels that it is but I think the one thing that I would slightly increase is the cocoa aspect of the flavour and just have like that caramelly taste in the initial profile of the flavour last for a little bit longer and also mm, for that smoky aspect to be a little bit more fully involved in the main body of the flavour but I mean generally it's a really well balanced flavour overall the texture is the best part about it honestly it's really really smooth and it's easy to go down and it's very very digestible and I mean even for like first time smoked porter kind of drinkers I think this is a good way to get into it but I think it's complex enough that anyone can appreciate it who drinks any kinds of beers. I think experienced porter drinkers as well will really really enjoy this actually because it is really nice. It's a well rounded but really vibrant and like full bodied porter like this is one of the best. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. Well, I've had like probably two or three stouts that I'd probably prefer a bit more to this porter, I think. I think I would have to say this is probably my favourite porter of... Um, because the thing is as well, I'm not massively into porters, I am a bit more into stouts and lagers, but I think I can definitely say that even though I haven't had a lot of porters in my time, this is probably my favourite ever porter. This is really, really nice, it's well balanced. There's just a couple of things I would tweak about it, but generally speaking, it is really, really nice. So, you know what? I was going to give it an 8.5 out of 10, but... 9.25. 9.25 out of 10. This is absolutely superb. This is elite level beer. Really, really, really good stuff. I would thoroughly recommend this for any kind of person who's drinking a porter. And... Yeah, I yeah, I don't know. I'm struggling to think of anything else to criticise it. It's just a few couple of, you know, little tweaks, really, and that's about it. But, yeah, really good stuff, Echo Brewery. This is really, really nice. I think I probably prefer this a bit more than the Craft Echo Gold Lager, but, I don't know, that was still good in of its own right. I'm not dissing that drink at all. But, yeah, this is really, 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 really nice. So, yeah, 
give it a look in if you guys are interested in this sort of drink and do please check out Echo Brewery's website as they do deserve some support. And I think they are sold out of the Echo Black 12 pack cases on their website at the moment, but hopefully they do restock it soon. But yeah, give them a look in if you like the sound of what they do. And if you liked this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Booze Cellar, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to check out any of my other social medias, I'll leave the links to all those in the video description down below. And until next time, have fun, stay safe for whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.